Opal Fuel came out of an email that I received one day at BP from a community advocate in Central Australia, which said, as I write, an 11 year old girl is sniffing petrol and I don't know whether she's going to reach her 13th birthday. So that hit me pretty hard and a lot of other managers in BP. So that was the kind of catalyst for us to investigate what we could do. And they wanted BP to somehow make a, uh, a fuel that acted as a deterrent to help the kids actually stop sniffing in the first place. So we work with our refinery chemists and other people to come up with a brand new formula so it would work fine in, in engines, but at the same time act as a deterrent for sniffing. Opal itself was created around about 2003-2004. Before we introduced it to the market as an unleaded fuel, we spent about six to nine months testing it. Uh, we used independent uh, laboratories. We tested a range of vehicles, including Toyota, Ford and Holdens. And we used professional um, laboratories to do tests in accordance with Australian standards and Australian design rules. We tested for emissions, fuel consumption and drivability. And when we came to the end of the testing, we found that the fuel consumption, emissions and drivability was the same as if the car was using regular unleaded petrol. Opal is produced at our Quinana refinery in Perth and it's the only refinery in Australia that produces it. Since we launched in 2005, we've sold 84 million litres uh, throughout Australia, both townships through to the most remote communities. Like every product that BP produces, we're always undertaking a process of continuous improvement to try and improve the performance and reliability of the fuel. And Opal's no different. So the new and improved version is about saying, well, there are new ways that we can enhance that and we want our customers to get the best possible product. BP um, used orbital engineering in Perth to test the new and improved Opal fuel. We used orbital engineering because they are an accredited laboratory and they operate to recognise design standards. Uh, we've used them in the past. We used them for the original um, Opal fuel. Orbital is a company that's transformed itself recently into a uh, engineering service provider to the automotive industry, the fuels industry, as well as um, to the government in terms of measuring emissions, fuel consumption, performance of vehicles and engines. We tested the new and improved Opal fuel against the uh, regular unleaded 91 fuel that's out in the market. What we did is we took a uh, V6 Toyota engine so we could run one of the fuels in one bank and the regular unleaded fuel in the other bank and then after 3,200 kilometres we swapped the fuels over. What we found was that the new and improved Opal fuel did have a better keep clean performance. That means it didn't actually deposit as many carbon deposits on the fuel injectors and other components as the regular unleaded 91 fuel did. And when we came to 3,200 kilometres and we swapped the fuels over, the new and improved Opal fuel actually cleaned away some of the deposits that had been put there by the regular unleaded petrols. All vehicles that are specified to use regular unleaded 91 ULP are able to use Opal fuel. Some vehicles are required to use premium unleaded petrol. Now Opal is not a premium unleaded fuel or a substitute for it, therefore those vehicles, European vehicles and high performance vehicles, probably shouldn't be using the new Opal fuel. Orbital was um, requested by BP um, to carry out uh, independent testing on the new Opal fuels on the marine engine applications. Um, to do this we did two lots of tests. We did one series of tests in the, river in, uh, the Swan River in Perth here where we tested a four-stroke outboard and the second lot of testing was carried out at a place called Manangrida in the Northern Territory where we evaluated the performance on one of the latest two-stroke outboard engines. One of the main areas where you have problems in these outboards um, with, with fuels is, is plug fouling, which generally occurs at the very light, low, low speed areas of operation. 
Um, so we developed some uh, test cycles down here that we ran where we concentrated mainly on the low speed light load areas uh, to determine the effect that the fuel had on the plugs. At the end of the testing in the Swan River, um, upon reviewing the, the, the spark plugs and information available, we found um, that there didn't appear to be any, any difference in the way the spark plugs looked or the way the engine performed while on the water. And that's comparing it between the uh, standard ULP91 and the new improved Opal. The testing up in the Northern Territory was done on an ETEC two-stroke outboard and very similar uh, testing was carried out. The condition of the plugs uh, when we pulled them out and inspect them looked superior to what we'd seen um, on the previous fuels we've been running. The engine performance, uh, drivability, stability um, appeared to be unchanged. Opal fuel can be used in small engines such as lawn mowers, uh, provided those are rated to use regular LED petrol. New and improved Opal should be considered for storage and handling the same as regular LED petrol, and the same restrictions apply. You know, if the container is opened and left exposed to the atmosphere, it will probably only last three to four weeks, same as regular LED petrol. In a sealed container, it will last for six months, same as regular LED petrol. So everything that you do when handling regular native petrol, you have to do for opal. And mixing opal with um, other petrols is no problem. It will mix in in the same way. Subsequent research the government's done indicates that up to 94% of sniffing is reduced in over 100 communities where opal is now supplied. Opal fuel has had obviously a great impact in terms of reducing the amount of petrol sniffing. But the most exciting thing is seeing kids go on with their life. Go back to communities five years after we um, launched Opal and kids are now back at school, they're healthy, they put on weight. You know, they're looking towards the future, playing footy, doing great things with their life. And that's what it's all about. 